with the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 59. Well, it's pretty hard to believe that we're already into August and we're almost well on our way to Labor Day. We're heading back to school and the state fair is right around the corner. 31 days to go until Labor Day, 49 days until fall. It actually feels like it out there and 53 days until we head towards the last game of Major League Baseball and into college football season. The West Virginia Mountaineers, Virginia Tech Hokies and also NFL season with the Houston Texans out there practicing in very comfortable conditions in White Sulphur Springs this morning and this early afternoon. A lot of traffic out here going to and from portions of the Greenbrier Valley down into southern West Virginia, but blue skies prevail above, so definitely the need for the sunglasses if you're doing any driving this evening. Live dual Doppler radar dry. We can't complain there. That will change next week, though, as we bring back the rain, showers, and storms into the picture. 71 in Beckley, 73 up there in Oak Hill. 61 degrees, though, as you get up into the higher terrain up towards Snowshoe and the Cranberry Glades. 70 there in Marlinton, 71 pleasant degrees in Lewisburg, 71 also in Union, 73 degrees right now down in Bland. As you head out towards the East River Tunnel this evening, looking pretty good to look at some of that scenery in very, very comfortable conditions with those low humidity values. 69 to start this evening, partly cloudy skies, 58 with clear skies. By the 11 o'clock hour and with dry air in place, our temperatures are going to fall off nicely as we have that breeze coming in out of the north northeast. A very, very light we will get rid of that during the overnight hours that will provide us with fog and then we'll switch the wind direction tomorrow and all that heat that you see down there towards the south out towards the cash city of Nashville and out towards Elvis country there in Memphis. That heat is going to roll our way. High pressure though, big blue H here in control. It's sitting on top of us and that's giving us the very pleasant weather pattern, but that disappears and eventually all this moisture that you see out here in the central portions of the country, well, it's got to go somewhere and it's going to be coming our way and it's going to tap into the Gulf of Mexico and that's going to give us the threat at some heavy rainfall. want to get you updated here very quickly on the tropics. Two areas of concern. No problems for vacationers yet at the beaches, but a little area of concern down here in the Caribbean. So if you're doing any traveling that way over the next couple of days, want to watch out for some showers and storms. And then a bigger problem out here towards the central portions of the Atlantic that could become an issue by this time next weekend, at least for somewhere in the United States coastline from Florida up towards the Carolinas. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. But for now, very quiet as you head out towards Myrtle Beach, looking pretty good out there with blue skies and sunshine at this hour. A lot of folks out there on the beach and on the move and a couple clouds from time to time. They're also experiencing some pop up variety showers and thunderstorms, but still only if we could be at Myrtle Beach right now this weekend. Looking pretty good down there. High pressure and control for us. That starts to dissipate out of here. Here comes the clouds tomorrow, but the moisture, it's not here just yet. So we get another good day. It's a little bit warmer. Warm front comes north first during the overnight hours, so our temperatures will be coming up. And then the rain, it is very heavy at times as we get towards your Monday morning and throughout the day as low pressure crosses. Good news is this is not going to hang around, although we could see some flash flooding concerns. The front is out of here. The clouds are out of here by Tuesday afternoon. We're drying out high pressure back in control once again, and we're starting to turn cool and comfortable before the next round of rain moves into the picture as we get towards your Wednesday morning. Your seven day forecast shows. Well, we're looking pretty good out there, at least for tomorrow. Showers and storms for you on Monday, a little break on Tuesday. Then we're back into the rain as we get towards your Wednesday, Thursday and Friday.